Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we are going to take a look at Starter User Interface. I'm going to show you around and uh, introduce you to some of the things you need to be aware of. Now, I'm currently using Starter 15. If you have a different version, some things may be different in parts, but in principle, uh, they should be the same. If you have Starter open, you should see a default layout like this. If for some reason you do not have a layout like mine, uh, just follow along and I will show you. Uh, Starter has five um, main windows. It has the review window, it has the results window, it has the variables window, it has the properties window, and it has the command window. We are going to dive uh, into the details of this shortly. If for some reason you can't see the windows I'm talking about, say you do not have the review windows and the variables window we are talking about, just go to window, this tab, this tab here, then you can select um, for instance, on my screen right now, you can see I do not have the windows I'm talking about, the review window and um, the properties and variables window all together. So all I need is click, come here to the Windows tab and select the one you don't have. If you don't have the results, if you are not seeing in this case, I'm not seeing the review window. I'll click on it and it will appear. I, do, I also don't have the um, variables window, I'll click on it and then it will appear here. I also do not have the properties window, I'll click on it and it comes here. Your setup may not be like mine, uh, you may have the variables fine, the windows fine, but they are not organized in this format. You can move them around the way you want. For instance, if say your variables was maybe uh, somewhere here, it is just a matter of grab it, try to move around and you will see these arrows here. Then it tells you where you want to put it. In my case, I want to put it somewhere below the variables. That's where I would prefer to have it. And it is showing me, if I click on, if I release it somewhere here, it will be put below the variables window. That's where I want it to be. Now that you've set your windows, uh, we all have the windows we are talking about. We can dive deeper into understanding each of what each of the windows does. Let's start with um, the toolbar. The toolbar here contains the icons for most of the commonly used starter tasks. Here we have at the top, at the, um, the very first one on the left is the open where you can open an already existing starter data set if you have it. Save. Here you can print what you want. We have other icons here which we shall be seeing with the time. This one you can log or begin. This one is a viewer, this for graphs. We have for the do file, we have a data editor in two modes. We have the data editor in the edit mode where you can enter or make changes to your data set. We also have the data editor for the browser mode so that you do not accidentally change your data. We also have the variables manager here where you can label, change names and any other thing about your variables. We also have um, other two, this last two um, icons here, although less 
frequently used, but you may find yourself needing to use them. The, the one with an arrow pointing downwards is for telling Stata to provide more results just in case uh, when it was running it did not show all the results. Then the X tells you to stop in case you were running some analysis or command but for one reason or the other you don't want it to you don't want it to run to completion you can stop it um, so for purposes of understanding what each of these windows means I'm going to just bring in some sample data set for us to be following along for now, don't mind about how it is imported. We shall be looking at that in later videos. But I have some sample data here, which I'm going to import. It is in it. I'm just going to put in a few commands here. That once you import your data into Stata, your variables window here, this one here, it tells you what are the variables that are in your data set. my case you can see that I have age here, I have education, I have gender and weight as my variables. Even if I had a hundred variables they would all be here and I would scroll to see them all. Uh, then when you look at um, the properties window Every time I click on say edge as a variable, they tell me the properties of that variable. They tell me the edge. It is label is also called edge. It is a, a byte. And the format, they tell it to me, it is a float. We shall be looking at this shortly. If it has any value labels, everything about that variable is, to, is displayed here. And still we also have properties for the data. You can see that I've just imported this data and I've not yet saved. So it has no name, it has no label, it has nothing. But it, they tell me I have four variables and four observations and this is the size it is occupying. So for every variable here they tell you the properties. That's the importance of the variables window and the properties window. Still in this variables window, you can drop selected variables. If say I just right, right click on this variable, I can keep it or I can drop it if I'm not interested in it. If I say keep only selected variables, then it will drop all the other variables. But if I say drop the selected variables, only that one which is selected will be dropped. And other features that you can, other actions that you can perform here. Uh, when you, when I put, or when you put your cursor at the extreme left of the um, variables window, there is what we call uh, a one click paste column. When you hover your mouse over it, you'll see an arrow pointing like away from that variables window. That one is used for pasting variable, the variable names in the command window. You notice here in the command, I have nothing. But if I come and I click on that arrow once, I'm pasting this variable name in the command window. We shall be using this quite more often. Again more about the properties window. By default, these properties of a certain variable are locked. You can see this lock, meaning you can't change anything. If I attempt to change, nothing can be changed. But in case I want to change the properties of a certain variable, I'll have to first unlock this. I click on that lock, then now it is open, I can edit whatever I want. But always it is good practice to keep this locked so that you don't make any unintended changes to your data, the variable property. Same thing happens to the data properties here. Now let's head into 
onto the command window. This is the place for submitting commands to Stutter. Whatever you want Stutter to do for you, you want it to give you frequencies, you want to drop a variable, you want to edit that, this is the command window. If you know the command, you can type it here directly, but don't worry about cramming commands. I'll be taking you mostly through the menu and then uh, the commands will automatically appear here. Over time, after using starter, some of these commands you'll be able to remember them off head, but don't waste a lot of your energy as per now in cramming these commands. I'll be taking you through the basic principles. All right, so uh, we are looking at um, review window this one here this shows you the history of of the commands that you have entered for instance when i entered here i imported my data this was a command it was the very first one here i browsed my data to see how it looks like this command is here i i tabulated my variable education to cities frequencies and percentages it is also shown here this review window can also show you the successful commands that you've carried out in black and those which were unsuccessful are shown in red together with their error codes you find that if i tried to put in a wrong command it tells me command brx is unrecognized and it tells me this is the error code if i click here in starter an error code shows you what caused that and maybe some other ways of how you could do try to solve it we shall be looking in details of this for now i just wanted to demonstrate to you what goes here and from where when you look at in this review window you can filter commands you can also, there is this exclamation mark. I can use it to hide the unsuccessful commands from my review window. Again, when I click on it, they are displayed. But this does not delete that command. It only changes its visibility. Then for the results window, contains all the commands and their results you have entered during a starter session. In this session, you can see I imported the data. I browsed, I tabulated the data. These are the commands. And like this is the results, for instance, for this command. So it shows you all that. Just a recap of what we've covered today. Starter has five main windows. We have the review window. We have the results window here. We have the command window. We have the variables window. And we have the properties window that shows the properties of your variable and your data set. Now that you know the interface of Stata, uh, in the, our next video we are going to look at how can we import data and do adjustments to our variables. See you in the next video.